Hey, hey, party people. I am so excited. I am so excited. I am dancing in my seat excited. I am, my hat is not staying on my head excited because she's here. Listen, I know some of y'all like, oh my God, Zoe, I love you. I support you. I want to buy it. Just give me the link already. The link is in the description box. And if you're like, I'm one of your Patreon uh, subscribers and I already saw the sneak preview of the sketchbook. So just give it to me. Give me the link. The link is in the description box. For the rest of you who want to know what's in it, what it's all about, what what's going on with this book. Let me tell you, because this is not just a sketchbook. I built this to be a fashion designer's best friend, first of all. First of all, okay, look at it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's black, naturally. And the copper foil, it makes me so happy. This, this is me. This is Etched, my collab partner. They're the sketchbook company. We got an elastic. We got a bookmark ribbon. We got a pocket in the back, right? And most importantly, it's got my templates in it. All right. The singing is annoying. I can't help it. I'm so excited. I can't stop singing. Okay. I don't know if you picked up on this, but when I get excited, I get sing songy. I get dancey. It's like I, sorry, sorry, hashtag sorry, not sorry. Okay. Figures on the left, te flat templates on the right, printed all light. So you can sketch right on top, sketch out your initial idea, super fast, draw out your flat, work out your details. Some of them are figure blow up. Some of them are flat blow up. Some of them are sides, fronts, backs, walking. So you have a variety of options to choose from. Am I going to be using the hell out of my own copy? Hell yes, I am. This is my new travel sketchbook faux show. Now, I know that you know that I know that you know that you know that I know that I said that if I ever do merch, I want to do something sustainable or at the very least often reusable, right? This sketchbook, it's made of stone paper. It's stone from construction waste, not trees. The cover is also stone paper laminate. Okay. No water when making the paper. No bleaches or acid. 60% lower CO2 emissions. All right. You can read all this stuff on Etched's website. Okay. And if you follow me on social, you know that I have wanted a nice hardcover sketchbook with marker paper forever. Okay. Like, there, I've tried so many different kinds of papers with a hardcover sketchbook. This is the one, y'all. This is the one for markers, okay? Because number one, first of all, this paper is not flimsy. It is sturdy, okay? And it is bleed proof. Maybe not. Maybe I pour a you know 50 pound bucket of marker ink on it and all of a sudden it's not bleed proof, but who is really doing that, okay? So don't come at me with your extreme experiments, but look at this, I am trying. Okay, this is not a camera trick. Y'all, I shoot on iPhones and edit in iMovie. I don't even know how to do camera tricks. So this is the real deal, okay? This is the reverse side of all this markering, okay? Now, every single paper in the world has pros and cons, best practices, best tools. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to use this paper, okay? First of all, let me tell you what kind of media you can use because it's a lot, okay? First of all, of course, the marker, any kind of marker, including Sharpies and metallic markers, of course, pencil, color pencil, fine liners, okay? Brush pens, and listen, anything with a lot of water, you can use it. I've used watercolor. I've used gouache. I've used brush pens. Well, diluted brush pens. I could definitely do undiluted brush pens, okay? But it takes a minute to dry. It's not the most ideal paper. Can you do it? Can you paint with watercolor on it and just leave it open to dry for a while and it'll work out fine? Yes. And because the paper doesn't soak up, you know, liquid so fast, you have a lot of like time to play with so that you can really get those watercolor gradients that you want. So it's good for that. Just please keep in mind, you need to let it dry a little bit more than your standard watercolor paper. The flip side though is once it's dry, it does not buckle. Okay. This paper does not buckle. Now back to how this is the perfect paper for markers. Because it doesn't absorb a ton of liquid, it doesn't suck up your marker ink so much so that your markers dry out immediately like some thicker papers can. And again, 
because the marker ink is sitting on the paper longer, you can work on those gradients. You can work on blending out those shadows. You have a little extra time to play with, which gives you a lot of rendering potential. Another thing is you can really use light pencils on this, like 2H. Have you ever picked up a pencil kit and you're like, what do I do with this 5H pencil? You can use it on this paper because it shows up darker. I don't know what kind of magic that is. Okay, because if I were to draw on a 5H on regular sketch paper, you barely see it. And that's the point. You know, you want it to be super, super light. But I often don't have a reason for those things. But on this paper, it shows up darker, dark enough, but without smudging like a 2B can. This paper is so smooth, smooth like butter, okay? And dry media looks beautiful on it. Look at this color pencil. Those of you who been following me for a long time, you know, I often say I don't like using color pencil for fashion illustrations, fashion sketching, because it's too slow. You have to like labor over a blending and laying down color for a really long time. And the whole point of fashion sketches is to move fast. Design sketches, you're moving fast. But color pencil on this smooth paper it just, it lays down so great that I may have to rethink that specifically for this paper. Now, listen, here's something I tell my business clients all the time. Do not overproduce because inventory is bags of money sitting around on a shelf. Okay. So I took my own advice. I didn't make a lot of these. I didn't make a lot of these. Okay. Practice what you preach, right? Grab one before they sell out. The link is in the description box. And you know what? If you don't have the cash and you want one, the holidays are coming up. Maybe, you know, send your link to someone that you think might love to give you a present. And if you really don't have the money but still want to support me, like this video, send the link to a friend who is also into sketching. You know, that also helps me as well. Thank you so much for everyone who has supported me throughout the years on my channel and especially this past summer, which has been the most difficult summer of my life. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Why am I doing finger guns? <laughs>